Weekly Renewal is brought to you by Calvo Select Care. Half a day, I'm Claire Calvo bringing you your weekly renewal. When we talk about fasting, we probably automatically think about restriction from food, like a cleanse or a detox or intermittent fasting, which has become quite popular over the years. Clearly, there are different styles and versions of fasting, but fasting is basically abstinence, and abstinence can be applied to just about anything. However, in this context, I am referring to food. During a fast, some people limit their intake to only liquids or water, or a dry fast, or to a certain food item or food group. And others focus primarily on feeding time or time restriction. Just as there are different styles and versions of fasting, there are also different purposes as well as benefits. There are myriad benefits of fasting from physical, mental, all the way down to spiritual. We're probably mostly familiar with the physical benefits, which include, but are not limited to, weight management, improving metabolic health, balancing blood sugar levels, blood pressure, insulin sensitivity, as well as brain health, cognitive function, and this is huge because of the brain-gut connection. B, D, and F, gut health, uh, the reduction of inflammation, which includes pretty much all the itises, colitis, diverticulitis, sinusitis, and is also considered to be the root of many disease, inflammation that is. And obviously detoxification, cleansing out toxins and leading to overall health and well-being. So clearly there are many health benefits for the physical body and mind. However, there are also other benefits. The origin of fasting was primarily spiritual. Fasting practices were recorded as far back as 1500 BC with the Vedic, Hindu, and Jainism religions. For many island residents, fasting is an annual part of our Lenten season, the weeks leading up to Easter. Some abstain from certain food items and others entire meals. As far back as I could remember, there have always been Lent specials at most local restaurants, which were basically void of meat. However, Catholics are not alone in this practice. Most religions practice some form of fasting for spiritual purposes. Other than Christianity, practitioners of Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, Judaism, Taoism, and Jainism recognize and practice fasting during specific times of the year, like Lent, Ramadan, or Yom Kippur, or as a regular weekly practice. Albeit different styles of fasting, the inspiration and purpose are similar. Developing spiritual strength and self-mastery, enhancing prayer, obtaining spiritual guidance, and deepening the connection to God. So whatever the reason or the season, springtime is always a great time for a fast, a great time to reset. And locally, we have a few groups, support groups, and places that offer cleanses and detoxes, such as Dr. Hornucci's Wellness Clinic, SDA, I know Ignite as well has cleansing programs, as well as Synergy Studios. So if you would like to check them out, you could go to these different establishments, maybe check online. However, if you just want to do a simple fast on your own, there are many websites that could lead you through a safe and slow fasting program. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time on your weekly renewal. Weekly Renewal is brought to you by Calvo Select Care.